Sometimes we want to step back from our own lives and be somebody else for a while, especially when you happen to be one of the biggest pop stars in the world. There are plenty of musicians out there who have made alter egos for themselves at some point in their careers. Whether that was to hide their true selves, to spice things up or just for fun, an alter ego in the world of music is something that's been happening since the early days of modern pop culture. There's no way we could cover all that ground in just one sitting, but today I've got a group of performers with some of the best alter egos the game right here on Listed. Lady Gaga channeled Ali Main in A Star Is Born and Joanne in her latest album, but for her real alter ego, we have to throw it back to 2011 and her album Born This Way. The fourth single off the album, You and I, gave us a six minute music video introducing most of us to Joe Calderon, Lady Gaga's drag alter ego. Joe officially stepped into the spotlight for a secret project with Vogue Hom Japan. But it wasn't until later with the release of You and I that people knew for sure that it was Gaga in disguise. And then about a week later, he popped up again when Gaga performed the song at the 2011 VMAs. And I think it's great, you know, I think it's really great that she's such a star. Joe was made to be the jealous, smooth talking boyfriend of Gaga and a way for the artist to push the limits even further. Gaga spent two whole days leading up to the VMAs in method as Joe Calderon and developed mannerisms and a speech pattern that was entirely his own. So who's to say she isn't a good actress, am I right? And while we're on the topic of acting, this next alter ego came straight out of TV. Now you may know her as Miley Cyrus, but Ashley O is the new singer that everyone is talking about. The pink-haired pop star appeared in a recent episode of Black Mirror where she played a popular musician struggling with the cost of fame. Look, I'll let you guys watch the episode and not give anything away, but if she was acting for a TV show, what makes her an alter ego? Well, for a minute, Miley changed her social photos and display names to Ashley O, and also has her own pages on Apple Music and Spotify. Same as Miley's other alter ego, Hannah Montana. Actually, Miley is the first person to ever have three discographies as three separate individuals on streaming platforms, but we're not gonna get into all of that right now. I'm not gonna do Hannah Montana, but I can give you an update on what she's been up to. She was murdered. Next up, we have probably one of the most interesting alter egos that I've ever heard of. Nicki Minaj goes by many names including Chun Li, Barbie and Onika, but the one that we want to talk about today is Roman Polanski. Roman is a vulgar, violent gay man from England who first appeared in Nicki's song with Trey Song's Bottoms Up. You can also see him in the monster video tying up Barbie Nicki. Of course, Roman Polanski ignited a whole era for Nicki Minaj with Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded in 2011. He inspired multiple songs that Minaj wrote about him, including Roman's Revenge, Roman in Moscow and Roman Holiday. Roman Holiday tells the story of Roman's by the book mother, Martha, attempting to exercise demons out of her son. What's your name? She performed Roman Holiday at the Grammys in 2012 and it recently resurfaced across Twitter as a meme. <laughs> Unfortunately for Roman though, Nikki eventually kind of got over it. In 2014, she said that she got tired of him and declared him dead. Rest in peace, Roman. The newest pop star alter ego I've got for you guys comes from the one and only Madonna. Madame X is the name of Madonna's newest album, which was released in mid-June 2019. So who is Madame X? Whew, honestly, sounds exhausting, but I mean, if anyone can do it, it's Madonna. What noticeably sets Madame X apart from Madonna is this eye patch. Like others on this list, Madonna has had plenty of other personas throughout her years of performing. Madame X is only the newest of her onstage personas. And of course, we're gonna finish strong with the one and only Sasha Fierce. Beyonce made this alter ego for her hit song, Crazy In Love. She told Oprah that Sasha Fierce was an alter ego made to perform and keep her sexy, provocative stage persona separate from who she really is. Beyonce said that she's actually very shy, but once she gets in her stilettos and the music starts playing, Sasha Fierce comes out to help her through it. Of course, Beyonce came out with a two-part album in 2008 called I Am Sasha Fierce. The first half, I Am, consisted of straight from the heart ballads like Halo and Ave Maria, while the second half, Sasha Fierce had tracks we all know and love like Single Ladies and Videophone. 
The two very different halves of that album showed her fans the difference between Beyonce's persona and the persona of Sasha Fierce. But now Beyonce is a grown woman and she has shed the protective shell of Sasha Fierce to grow into a sound that is very uniquely hers. Well you guys, that's all we have time for today, but I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments section below who is your favorite celebrity alter ego? Was it someone here or was it someone that we didn't cover like maybe Prince or David Bowie? Get to talking in the comments section below. Also guys, hold up a second. Have you subscribed to Clever News? It's the best way to stay in touch and keep in the know. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to be notified every single time we post. Then when you're done, click right up here for a brand new video and why not give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Susan Morad and I'll catch you later guys.